We begin tonight in Jay, a town that is still reeling from intense storm damage from last week. And Nora Hogan joins us live in Jay, where some roads remain impassable from last month's flash flooding. And Nora, what are you seeing there tonight? Well, John, Megan, the rain is still very light. It's picked up slightly, but nothing too intense yet. But this community here is on edge and you can really see why you're taking a look right now at just one location in town where the road has just been completely washed out. And this spot alone is going to cost an estimated $600,000 to repair. Now, crews here have been working around the clock just to make sure that people's homes are accessible. It wasn't until this morning when they could say that every driveway had actually been completely cleared and they're really just making these repairs that are piecemeal. Nothing has been returned to its original condition and with the risk of flash flooding tonight, everyone is just praying that it all holds. Every time it rains, I'm definitely on edge, um, just hoping that the work that we've done so far doesn't wash out, um, you know, and then do more damage to the areas that are already exposed. The worst rain is expected here sometime between the hours of 6 p.m. and midnight. So if you're driving in the area, especially after dark, please be extremely careful. Now we're going to head over west to Oxford County, where James Corrigan has been tracking conditions for us in Greenwood. Hi, James. How are things looking there? Well, things are picking up a little bit. As you mentioned, Nora, it's the same thing here as it is in Jay. We are in Greenwood in Oxford County, where, as you may have just seen on Rogers' radar, if you've seen our radars as well on WMTW.com, it's not going to be too long before that heavy stuff comes right through that northern Oxford, Oxford County area. And Roger mentioned that soft ground we've seen that throughout all of our stops today. This ground, particularly soft as well. You could see it move. You could see the foot make that indentation and that's going to cause an issue not so much here we're in front of round pond in greenwood the real issue is going to be where you see the streams where you see the creeks we mentioned the rushing river that you just heard about in vermont people here are afraid of that as well that comes of course as the state has been hit hard by recent storms including in jay uh the flooding in jay that we've seen this past week where floods damaged most of the roads in that town as you just saw a moment ago with nora Today, of course, Vermont is being hit with those historic levels of flooding and town officials we spoke to today in Andover up here nearby say that they are on the lookout for those bad conditions and they are ready if need be. The good news for the rain today is so far it looks like we'll get a remaining less than two inches of rain, but it's very evenly spread across about a 24 hour period. So it's a it's not something that we expect uh, to get any flash flooding as a result, but we are certainly going to keep our eyes on, on this. And we will be doing the same thing up here in the Bethel area. We'll be keeping our eyes on all the conditions. We're in a flash, we're in a flood watch at the moment, but if that does come to fruition, we, we will not be far behind and keep it locked on to WMTW.com as well for all the latest on conditions in your area. Live in Greenwood, I'm James Cargan with Maine's Total Weather. James, thank you. The risk that flooding poses will only get worse as it gets dark, as it's going to be harder to judge, even harder to judge, the depth of any water in the roadway. We also want to keep in mind that as you add to that, the flood waters can hide rocks, trees, and other debris. All can be very dangerous. Let's get back to Franklin County. Talia Clark live in Farmington tonight. And Talia, I know you've been speaking with public works crews today, and what do they have to say about this? I have, John, and what they tell me is that uh, here at the Sandy River, this is an area that when it floods in this area, it can swell and it can lead to a significant detour in the downtown area back in this past spring. It did uh, swell and flood and caused a lot of uh, detours on Main Street here in Farmington. The rain is pretty light out here right now, as Nora said earlier. Um, it is picking up a little bit, but a lot more is expected later tonight. So folks are preparing in Farmington here and in Oxford and Franklin County 
There could be one to three inches of rainfall with the storm in isolated areas where you could see more rain tonight, all falling in a short period of time tonight into early Tuesday morning. These are areas that have already deal dealt with severe flash flood damage this past spring and summer. A public works here in Farmington is already getting their detour signs ready today in preparation for any road closures with the storm. A main emergency management agency warns that if you happen to see a barrier when you're out driving tonight, do not try to drive around it. Turn around. And if you get to a roadway that's covered in water, you don't know how deep that is. You need to turn around and don't drown. Just six inches of moving water can knock you down and a foot can carry away your vehicle. Well, MEMA and Public Works advise against traveling during tonight's storm. And if you do have to drive on the road, then just use caution. For now, reporting live in Farmington, I'm Talia Clark for Maine's Total Coverage. Talia, thank you.